Hi everyone, welcome to Home Radio Collectibles, where today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Deluxe Class Decepticon Bludgeon. He's one of my favourite Decepticons and there's barely any toys of him out there, and the ones that there are can be hard to come across, so I had to go ahead and pick this guy up. As you can see, the instructions on these figures are on the back of the box, they're pretty simple, and then also um, you can scan the uh, Autobot or Decepticon logo on the Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise app and then... I don't know, play as this character or whatever. I don't really know. I'm just here for the figure. So let's open this guy up and take a closer look. So here's Bludgeon in his tank mode and this thing looks so cool. Orange is my favorite color and then you've just got these awesome black, reds and greens. Uh, this epic, um, you know, two turret cannon right here, which just reminds me definitely of, uh, you know, Brawl and Bruticus. And uh, it can actually rotate as well, which is awesome. The whole turret itself can rotate as well. Uh, the treads do not move, but it does have rolling wheels. And this thing just looks badass. For a little deluxe that's, you know, obviously targeted towards kids, this thing is really, really nice. This kind of fake chest piece, because the chest is actually over here, uh, it just looks like a giant battering ram, so if anything comes close, it can just ram straight into him. This guy looks epic. Obviously, he does come with a sword. You can pop it over here if you wish on the side of the treads, which doesn't look too much out of place. He also has his hands right here if you want to put it there. But he actually has a big hole in the back of his head. You can pop it right there and have it kind of facing forwards, just like a big kind of dagger of death, which obviously does not move with the turrets, so you can move him out of the way and uh, have him, I don't know, stab someone in tank mode. Or you can rotate it towards the back, which I think looks a little bit better in terms of just general storage. And then you can pretend that this is a little machine gun or a flamethrower or something. And it it suits it perfectly fine. I think it works really, really well. And um, yeah, this guy is just a little bundle of joy. It's just really, really sweet. But yeah, you can also remove these turrets if you really don't want them there. You can peg them into the head, but I don't really see why you would want to do that. But uh, there you go. So let's go ahead and transform this guy and see how awesome he is in robot mode. And here's Bludgeon in his epic robot mode this is definitely 100 percent a bludgeon i i would totally be fine with them repainting this guy and giving him a different head mold and using it as a brawl or even a megatron i would love to see this guy as a megatron um they tend to always do that by the way as well whenever they make a bludgeon they always make a megatron repaint of it or vice versa uh this guy is incredible those turrets on his back are amazing you can obviously articulate them so you can put them down if you want or you can totally remove them you could also even take them out and put them in his hand and you can use them as a, a giant cannon there uh, obviously you have that decepticon logo on the front right there the sword can be wielded in his hand or either of them obviously but what's really cool is that the same place that you could uh, put it in the vehicle mode also works as I mean I know it's on his knee but they're transformers so who really cares about anatomy um, you can put it there as some nice storage and it it looks really really good so you can holster it down there it's kind of close enough to his hip that doesn't really matter too terribly much and it's also clearly what they were going for there and it looks really really good he definitely captures that samurai spirit um, that head sculpt that is 100% bludgeon no doubt very unique very awesome, and uh, yeah, it just looks amazing. He really, really does just look awesome. In terms of articulation, obviously, you've got the head pivot there. The shoulders have a little bit of movement in them, not too much. If you move them forward, you are going to kind of unclip that chest piece. So really, it just has a little bit of wiggle, but it does rotate well. Uh, at the uh, arm here, they can obviously move out well. Rotation at the upper part of the arm, single jointed uh, elbow right there, nothing at the wrist. You do have rotation at the waist due to that uh, tank turret. The hips come all the way out to the side, forward, a little bit back. Rotation at the upper part of the thigh, single jointed knee, and that is your lot. Look at those big, beefy tank tread feet there, just over six inches tall. This guy is amazing, and uh, I have to say, he may be the kind of cartoon, you know, characteristic style uh, of robots in disguise, but this guy would fit in a lot of different collections. I really do feel that this guy just looks really amazing, and if you're a Bludgeon fan like me, he's a must-have. He's nice and easy to transform. Uh, he's got some good articulation. He'll look great on your shelf. He's got awesome turrets and a really nice sword, and uh, I just... 
have to say this guy is a must-have. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. I may take a look at more Robots in Disguise stuff. Definitely, I've got Windblade coming up next. Uh, but other than that, I, I will have a look into the line because if there's gems like this, there there's got to be something else that's really nice in there. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, take a look at the videos that are on screen right now and the links that I've got in the description below. For more Transformers videos, obviously, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.